<laughs> Safety first, kids. What we wait you for? Yes, you want to show everybody you stick again. There's loads of people out there, young me included, that didn't really have anybody to chat to so openly about these things, and I want to be that person for the people, you know? So I just want to get it right. <laughs> Good morning everybody, me again. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Tuesday morning today and we're at the vets. Don't tell Toby. Um, but he's here for his yearly booster vaccinations um, and they're accepting patients again. So um, yeah, we have to wait outside and the vet's gonna come and collect him from the car. We can't go inside because they've got lots of um, like new procedures and stuff but everything seems safe so it's all good toby's gonna hate it regardless because every time he goes to the vets he gets something shoved up his bum or gets injected with something so i don't blame him oh and he lost his balls one time <laughs> we're just waiting for the vet to come in um, and then i think we're gonna wander and grab a coffee while we wait it's an exciting tuesday morning isn't it what we waiting for me hey? you're waiting very patiently <laughs> I know my fate, mummy. I'm waiting for the end to come. <laughs> Don't let them take me, mummy. Please. Oh. I, I love you, good boy, I promise. <laughs> Stop it. Gonna go into pets at home for a little treat after being such a good boy at the vets. Yes. Yeah, pick one. You're going for the biggest venison sausage. <laughs> Come on, have a look at some of the toys. They smell too delicious up here. Yeah. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? You're going to destroy that in about two minutes. already has it. Where's this one? Some crispies. Some crispies. <laughs> He's going to try and kill that. <laughs> Which one's best? Oh, the stick. The stick Is that your favourite? Good, because that was the expensive one. <laughs> you don't want any crispies. No. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> been sent some blue light reflecting glasses and they're actually quite they're actually quite stylish if I do so, so myself uh, they reflect so much on camera though which is obviously what they're supposed to do but that's incredibly distracting and um, but if you've not seen these before they essentially block the blue light you see there uh, from your phone from any screens from tv from your laptop and stuff because I think it's the blue light that stops production of melatonin which is the sleep hormone um it's not a hormone but the sleep chemical, the stuff that your body needs to produce for you to be able to get to sleep, which is why if you spend a lot of time on your computer, computer, <laughs> spend a lot of time on your computer or on your phone, um, you might struggle to sleep, which I 100% do. It was 3 a.m. for me last night, as you can tell by my eye bags. I think this skin glowy filter things on again, but even with that, oh my God, I look like a hag. I look like a hag bag. But yeah, I really struggle to sleep and I think it's because I spend so much time looking on my phone, at like social media, texting people, on my laptop, playing The Sims, etc. Um, so I've been looking at getting a pair of these for ages and this company, Aqualast, sent me a message about three weeks ago now and to be honest, I completely forgot about it, but they turned up today. <laughs> I was like, they're not turning up, are they? And they arrived today um, and they've got some really quite snazzy pairs. I actually quite like this style. I feel like it's, I don't know quite retro I like it um and I'm actually quite surprised at how well they work it's basically like when you put them on it's like when you turn night mode on on your phone and you know when it goes from like a cool blue haze to more of um <laughs> you got your stick there I think that's a hit isn't it <laughs> do you like it I think that's a hit yes <laughs> yes you want to show everybody you stick again Everybody, this is Toby's new stick. <laughs> As I was saying, uh, you can literally tell the difference when you put them on. You can sort of like see 
that cold blueness, I guess, and then you put them on and it's like a sepia filter kind of goes over your eyes. So they actually do work. Who knew? <laughs> It's amazing actually, so I'm going to try these out for the next um, couple of nights and see if it makes a difference But I, I can't believe how much of a difference it makes when you just literally just put them on It's it's like having a filter over your eyes and you can see all the blue is kind of like reflected back at you guys so There you go, I'll leave a link to these down below, but yeah, they're really good I'm surprised, I didn't think you'd actually be able to see a difference, I don't know what I was expecting <laughs> But not this, I'm pleased with that Oops to be taking a picture. <laughs> hey team, currently sat on the floor because <laughs> I'm about to film um, an IGTV video on people's uh, frequently asked questions about menstrual cups and I'm going to try not to do that while I'm filming uh, and I thought I would do it directly on IGTV if I can figure it out because I've never actually filmed directly on IGTV before um, but it seems to be the easiest way of doing it I think. I think I'm going to pop it on Instagram first because that's where everyone's been asking the question so it kind of made sense to answer it on there with the video and then I think I should still be able to upload that video onto YouTube if you wanted to share it or if I wanted to embed it in um, a blog post or something. I think when you watch videos through the app on YouTube um, it automatically converts vertical videos now so um, I'd be really interested to know actually where do you watch these vlogs? Do you watch them on your computer or do you watch them on on your phone or do you watch them on the telly? Leave me a comment down below, let me know where you watch them because my analytics say that the majority of people actually watch on their phone so it actually wouldn't matter if I started to upload more um, vertical videos for the short and snappy ones so anyway we'll see, I'm trying something new I've got my little setup here, this Joby tripod once again it's bloody brilliant, I've got the microphone um, plugged in so hopefully the sound's going to be better than just my iPhone but to be fair the quality of recording on iPhones is pretty decent anyway um, so yeah if you are interested in a uh, period cup talk then come on over on Instagram follow me on there if you're not already but hopefully I should be able to figure it out um, to go on here as well so um, yeah wish me luck video complete I think it was okay the only thing is I didn't realize it wasn't going to give me a chance to save it down and edit it before I had to publish it um, so I had to publish it without any captions, so I'm really sorry if you need captions on things. Um, if you do, I'm sure you struggle with my videos anyway, because I talk so fast, I'm really trying to work on that. Um, but yeah, if you needed captions, I apologise. It's a learning curve, I've never um, recorded direct in the app before, so next time I think I'll record on my phone and then... Um, save it down and add captions and stuff and upload it a different way. Yeah, I think it went really well. I just feel drained today. We haven't eaten enough food. We had a cinnamon swirl this morning and then I was feeling like really faint and funny <laughs> about an hour ago and I was like, why am I feeling like this? Oh, because it's about 6 p.m. and we haven't eaten. Very stupid, but um, I've just been on a bit of a working mission, to be honest, and completely forgot. So yeah, Chris is cooking a curry and it smells amazing from Gusto. I'm not sure which one, I think it's a Sri Lankan one, um, but I'll let you know when it's uh, cooked. We're very much enjoying having Gusto back, love it, and they've got some really nice recipes on there at the moment. So if you haven't tried them out, you should definitely give it a go. Editing me, leave the link down below. Um, yeah, I just feel a bit drained. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this on YouTube and then step away from the laptop. <laughs> So this is a Sri Lankan pork curry with coconut sambal and it is delicious. Oh, it's very steamy and hot as well. <laughs> so Chris has decided to take up biking again. She had your bike rusting in the garden for the last, I don't know, year maybe? And somebody, uh, one of your friends has started to go biking so you're like, oh, I'm going to join in. And you've been fixing up your little bike, you got a new helmet. <laughs> Safety first, kids time for Toby's worming treatment and he used to just eat these like he just didn't care that they were tablets he'd just eat them and love it but now he's gotten used to the taste and doesn't like them anymore and <laughs> keeps spitting them out so we have to put them in peanut butter <laughs> you figured it out is that better is that nice now <laughs> Where's the rest of it, Daddy? <laughs> we win. We made you take your medicine. 
We also treated Toby <laughs> to a butternut box, which he hasn't had for ages. But these are like um, like freshly prepared dog food things that go in your freezer. So they're really easy. You just kind of like stack them up uh, and then defrost them overnight and feed him with his dry food and stuff. We kind of give him like half a pack of these uh, once a day, just as a little treat every now and again to make his food a bit more interesting because he loves tails and he's been having that for three years. It's amazing, by the way, if anyone wants to try it. Um, I've got a code where you can get a whole month's worth of dog food for a pound. It's really good. Uh, but I, I know it's stupid because he's a dog, but I just kind of sometimes think he might like something a little bit different. So we get him one of these button-up boxes um, and he loves it. It's like all just really good quality ingredients, like grain-free stuff. It's like you could eat this yourself. You probably wouldn't want to, but it's essentially like the innards of a cottage pie or whatever. Um, so yeah, we just get him one of these every now and again, keep them in the freezer and just sort of whack out a packet to spice things up for him. You are a very loved little creature, did you know that? <laughs> Where's your stick? Where is it? Where's your stick? Find it! Yay! Do you love it very much? Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Find it? Find it? Where's your sticky? Well done! Good boy. He's got his flea thing on today, which is the gross like bit that you put on the back of his neck. He's all greasy for a few hours, but we need to keep you healthy, don't we? Because we do love you. You're very special. I think we've got a money off code for button up box as well. So if you're a dog person and you have a doggy dog, I'll leave a link to some uh, discount codes for dog food in the info bar. How exciting. <laughs> Good morning everybody, happy Thursday, hope you're well. Um, it's Thursday today, I've already said that. And I'm going to be filming some menstrual cup videos today because I came on my period this morning and I'm super, super happy about it. Um, I don't know, for me, I like my period because it kind of like, I see it as the start of my cycle. A lot of people see it as the ending. Um, in that book it talks about, depending on where you are in your life, it depends on, you know, how you see it. But for me, it feels like a start. So I've, I've just felt like a fat, grumpy lump <laughs> for the past probably two weeks, actually. Um, so today, I kind of feel like it's it's cleansing out and we're ready to start a new month, which is really nice. So um, yeah, I'm in a proper good mood today. I'm actually just stood here in my, uh, in my period pants. There you go, I've been eating peanut butter on toast in the kitchen. It's really warm today, like super, super muggy, but gray and miserable outside, but very, very hot. So yeah, I think I probably just will walk around in my pants all day. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna film these videos on menstrual cups for my YouTube channel. I'm gonna split it into two because it's gonna be easier to digest the information and I'm gonna be able to like give a bit more detail um, and have more time to do that. So I think that's the best way of doing it. So I'm gonna film both of them today. Hopefully try and edit one today and get it up for you um, this week. If not, they are coming very, very soon and I'm gonna have this period and then after that, uh, talk about the period pants. These are the Thinks ones, so I'm rubbing my team. I've got, like the cramps are on the way. They're on the way, team. Um, but these are the Thinks ones and they're really pretty. They're like my favorite looking ones, um, but I think Modi Body, spoiler alert, I think they might be the best ones for me, just because the price, like, Thinks are fantastic and they work really well, so if you're in the US, I suggest getting some Thinks. Um, but in the UK, it's just so much money to bring them over, because you have to, like, tax them. I know they do them on ASOS, but they don't do the heavy ones. They only do, like, the moderate ones on ASOS, so, um, yeah, I'll talk more about this in that video, but, um, that's the plan for today. I fake tanned last night and do you know what team? I feel like a new woman. I actually do and booked myself in for a haircut. It's all happening. Um, I'm going in next week to have my colour test because I haven't actually had like the test since October last year. Where the hell has like nearly an entire year gone honestly. So I'm going for my hair colour test next week and then the week after I'm having something done. I think I'm just gonna keep the length for now, but just thin it out um, and have a toner put on. And then maybe as like a pre-Christmas treat a little bit later on in the year, chop it all off and go bright blonde again. So we'll see, we'll see. But I'll take you along with me when that comes around. I think it's in like two weeks time. <laughs> the waiting lists are long. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my update for the day. So I'm feeling myself today, team. Not gonna lie to you, not gonna lie. <laughs> I have filmed this bloody video three times and I'm still not sure it's gone the way I want it to go. I, I filmed the first one and to be honest there's so much I want to say about these little bloody cup things, um, so to speak, excuse the pun, that 
I don't know, I feel like I need to split it into three videos, but then I thought three videos is overkill, I'm gonna just do it in two, and then I filmed the first one and I felt like I was just manic trying to get everything in but also keep it below 10 minutes because people will get bored otherwise. Um, so yeah, I then refilmed it as more like kind of a chatty video, but now I think that one's boring. <sighs> Sometimes when you, sometimes when you're filming stuff, it just goes absolutely fine. And yeah, you can smash it out in one go and it's cool. Other times you have to film it, edit it, waste an entire day and then realize that you've got to start again. So um, yeah, I've edited the first video. I think it's a bit all over the place. I'm gonna try and edit this one now and then I'll compare the two. Um, and if I need to film it another day and try again, I will do. But I think I'm just being a bit precious about this content because I'm really passionate about it and I want to be able to include as many people as possible with it and really open that conversation up as much as possible because I think it's so important it, it honestly it's it's really it's giving me a fire in my belly talking about all this stuff and I just think it's important that it's digestible enough for everybody and people feel like the, um like it's people feel like they can come and ask me questions and talk to me about it because I just know that there's loads of people out there young me included that didn't really have anybody to chat to so openly about these things and I want to be that person for the people you know so I just want to get it right <laughs> and I don't know if I have so yeah what time is it five o'clock oh man I'm gonna go and edit this second video and uh see what happens from there <laughs> Oh, is it special dinner time? <laughs> yum, yum. It looks disgusting. <laughs> it's so exciting. This is very exciting. <laughs> Look at his lip. Sausages and mash for tea tonight and I've cut up all my sausages so I can just sit there with a fork and eat it like that. Apparently Americans do that a lot. Any American followers? Is that true? Do you cut up all your food before you start eating and then just use a fork? Because if so, I'm, I'm down with it for this one. Good morning team, happy Friday. It is 30 degrees again in the UK and I'm very, very happy about it. I've got my fake tan on, don't worry, it's not like an actual tan, but I'm gonna top that up today um, because we're heading over to mum and dad's again for a barbecue because they have the most lovely garden and they have uh, sun lounges and everything. So it's like being on a holiday, it's very nice. So we're gonna go over there. Toby loves it because he gets to sort of run around and play in his personal paddling pool that my mum's got him, so um, yeah, it's just gonna be a nice day. Uh, Chris has got like meetings and work stuff to do, but I don't, so I can just sit there and read my book <laughs> in the sunshine with a nice cold glass of sparkling water, which would be delicious. I'm a massive sparkling water fan. Sorry, Toby's pottering around. I think he needs to go for a wee. Um, I'm a massive sparkling water fan. Is anybody else a big fan? I know it divides a lot of people. I never used to like it. Um, but I love it now. It's just like my go-to drink when it's really, really hot and sunny. And obviously I'm driving, so uh, yeah. That with a little bit of elderflower cordial. Oh, delicious. The sun, the sunshine makes me very giddy, if you haven't already noticed. Um, and I'm in my little outfit that I got from Bali years ago. My basic, <laughs> my basic Bali trousers. I flipping love them because it's so lightweight. Because obviously it's so hot and humid over there. You can just flip the um, straps down, get your tan on. Oh, Banging. My hair's a bit greasy, but I wasn't gonna bother washing it because I'm gonna get all sweaty later. Next time you see me, I shall be even more bronzed. Is that your posh camera? Yeah, it's a new one. Mmm. Yeah. Tiny, innit? Good afternoon team, happy Saturday. So I've been out for a lovely hike this morning. Sorry I didn't speak to you before. And we just wanted to get out and walk. It was really lovely, kind of just got a Tesco meal deal because we didn't have anything in the house to make sandwiches. Um, and stopped off at Pretty Parts on the way and bought some cake from them, took a big flask of tea um, and sat under a tree in the shade and had a little bit of a picnic, which was nice. And then we did like a nice gentle hike. Didn't take Toby because it's way too hot out there for him. It was really too hot for me as well. Really testing out that natural deodorant kids 
Now I've come home, had a little bit of a shower, put on another Bali outfit. This is a dress. Well, I literally bought this dress in about five different colours when I was in Bali um, for about three pounds each. It was crazy and they are still going strong. I think two of them have got holes in as we go, as we've been along over the last sort of three years. Um, but this one and a couple of others are still going strong. Love them, absolutely love them. They're very flattering for like a curvy figure and they kind of just expand with you which is helpful with the lockdown weight anyway so we're gonna go to the pub um and sit outside because it's just glorious it was supposed to be thunderstorm today but it, they haven't arrived yet um i think they definitely are coming but they haven't arrived yet uh so we're gonna sit outside in the sunshine and just have a beer and just chill might even take my book is that weird if we both take a book and read in a in a beer garden not sure it's just quite nice isn't it Good morning team, happy Sunday. I'm just making myself a cup of tea and the kitchen is an absolute mess, so don't look behind me. Um, Chris has gone out for a bike ride this morning and it's been lovely. I've just had the whole morning to myself. To be honest, haven't done much with it so far. I've just been in bed watching TikTok <laughs> and I'm making myself a cup of tea and then I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna play The Sims. That's gonna be great because uh, the gray weather has finally arrived. Wasn't as hot last night, which is good. We, I know we complain a lot in the UK when it rains and then we also complain a lot when it's really hot and sunny but that's because we don't have aircon like anywhere so um, yeah it gets pretty uncomfortable and pretty miserable at night um, the only thing is we're, we're really lucky because uh, here in this flat the bedroom is in the basement so it's actually really quite cool but uh, the night before last was still horrendous even down there so I don't know how other people are getting on when they've got really warm houses oh my goodness um so yeah sorry that was a really boring conversation wasn't it <laughs> got nothing else for yeah i'm gonna go and play the sims and i'm really excited about it i'm just gonna chill out maybe put some music on um and just sit on the sofa and veg with a cup of tea and maybe get the chocolate biscuits out Sorry I didn't film much yesterday. We literally didn't do much, to be honest. Kind of stayed in, played The Sims, um, trying to stay in the coolest part of the house because it is still boiling, which not complaining about, but it's it's hard when you haven't got aircon or a fan and we need to like invest in a fan. Um, and yeah, just bit, watched a bit of One Tree Hill. We made homemade fish, and, uh, fish fingers and chips from Gusto, which is quite nice. And uh, yeah, that was about it really, nothing else to report. So um, I'm gonna sit here now and edit this vlog for you all. There's not gonna be a vlog next week, um, but I'll be back the week after that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's been pretty uneventful, I'm so sorry. It's th that's how I feel like life is at the moment. Um, but the week after next, I'm hopefully gonna go and get my hair done. So I'll come back onto the vlogs for that so you can see a transformation of some kind and uh yeah i might be heading out again for another meal out or something just kind of just taking it week by week see how we feel with everything because there's some local lockdown restrictions that are starting to happen like manchester i think and um somewhere else as well like a few places are being put back into lockdown so it's kind of like making my anxiety go up again a little bit uh about how safe everything is so yeah we're just sort of taking things at our own pace and not really doing a lot at the moment which obviously translates into these vlogs but i shall come back in a week or so have i left those on no i thought i'd left me bloody headphones on um so, sorry but i'm so distracted so distracted this morning um i'm gonna come back in a week or so when i've actually got something to show you um and yeah we can talk a little bit more then but thanks very much for watching i'm working on all the uh period content my period's been very light actually i, I don't know if this is going to be my cycle moving forward i don't know if my body's just still adjusting um but we'll play it month by month and see what to do from there but i'm looking at putting out some more content this week video form blog form and starting to build up that little catalog of information for people which um so far people have said has been really really helpful so thank you so much for that and yeah i guess i will see you the next time i see you have a lovely rest of the week and uh, see you next time bye because i have been a monster this morning i've just been so irritable and snappy <laughs> really really not a very nice person to be around if i'm completely honest just the right amount of waffle to keep a conversation going but don't waffle too much like i'm doing right now i'm just gonna turn this off